If you live in Boulder and love riding bikes, or you've dreamed about coming to the Boulder area to ride bikes, you've got to check out Simple Cycling Maps by this man, Zach Lee. I'm hoping today you can walk us through your thinking behind how you created these things and why. So first off, you've got a few different types of maps. The Simple Cycling Map to me looks like a subway map where it pulls out all the, the nonsense and highlights the good stuff. Exactly, Ben. Yeah, so it's basically, the idea behind it was that it's drawn like a subway map, so drawn very simply, but then it's color-coded like a ski resort, so people know level of difficulty. They also know the terrain type, so solid means paved, dashed means gravel road, and dotted means more like, like, a, like a trail or a path or a jeep trail, something like that. Yeah, so for many of us, like, you can read the stats on a climb, number of feet or the, the percentage gradient, but it's hard to get a real sense for that until you've actually gone out there and done it. So one thing I like about the maps is like once you've done one of the climbs, then you get a good sense or you're sort of calibrated right. for the rest of them. Yeah, you have a point of reference. And you know, admittedly, Boulder Easy, Boulder Green might be blue or red in some places. So it does take a little bit of calibration to get there, but then once you do get a sense for it, then you have a point of reference. And that's what I'm really fascinated by. And other points of reference, now you've got a cool new project going on comparing climbs here in the Boulder, Colorado area to climbs in the Tour de France. Like the, we're looking at the Alpe d'Huez and how that compares to, you know, we're here on Flagstaff. Yeah. It's, how, how do the two compare? It's really fascinating. I mean, until yesterday, I had no idea. I started this project, the Profile Series project, to compare sort of this comparative analytics of what these profiles, these climb profiles, look like together sort of stack them up back to back. And when you compare Alpe d'Huez to Flagstaff, basically what we just did today, just Flagstaff to the amphitheater turnoff, that's like a quarter of Alpe d'Huez. <laughs> just a quarter. Oof. Oof. And that, you know, I'm pouring sweat. That's, that's hard today. <laughs> um, Super Flag is basically half the distance and almost half the elevation gain as Alpe d'Huez. Now, if you live in Boulder or you've visited Boulder and you've come to the Rafa Clubhouse, you've probably seen Zach's handiwork you know, hanging on the walls or also uh, in, in the map format. So like those are the two, two main uh, distribution methods, right? Yeah. Analog, as you like to say, you know, big, big posters or uh, maps you can put in the pocket. That's right. You never have to charge these maps. <laughs> <laughs> You've also done some other cool projects with Rafa, like uh, a jersey, right? What was the what was the design there? Yeah, I uh, worked with Rafa to design um, uh, two jerseys actually um, to commemorate Boulder. What is Boulder? What it's wh you know what's what's inspiring about this place? And I became completely infatuated and fascinated by the the geology of the area. Where we stand right now, we're looking back towards something that's 300 million years old. It was fascinating to dive into the geology. You know, I've lived here for over 20 years, ridden these roads, ridden these canyons, never really stopped to look at what we're riding through. Mm -hmm. And very quickly in a place like this, where you, there's the rolling plains out east, and then immediately here in the front range, you've got the mountains. This is where the Rockies start. And you, you ride through a billion years worth of history within about five minutes and uh -huh. you just blow by it and not even look yeah and so it's just fascinating to me so i created a series of jerseys that sort of commemorates that super cool yeah the uh climbing series takes 25 of the big famous climbs here stacks them up side by side by side that's another neat thing of like having them all contextualized you know we've many of us have ridden most if not all of those but you know i've never had them visually laid out like that so you know when people come to visit i often find myself at a loss for words trying to explain what you know good better best is big bigger biggest is yeah. uh, which is kind of embarrassing but given how long i've been <laughs> living and riding here so just like having the one-stop shop visual explanation uh, is a neat reference tool when you're when you're planning your next adventure just daydreaming of where you'd like to ride yeah usually when you see the profiles of climbs you don't see them in the same scale. You see them stretched to kind of fit the window of your, your phone or your computer screen or whatever it is. And so the profile series creates everything in the same scale. And so you truly have some contextual point of reference. Um, and then from there, you're able to extrapolate, you know, all the climbs in Boulder and then in France, in the, you know, in the Tour de France, and then in other locations as well, like Santa Monica or Mallorca, where we plan to go next. Speaking of, you know, I 
I'm sure some viewers are thinking, yeah, Boulder, Boulder, Boulder. Why are you guys <laughs> talking about Boulder? Well, because it's awesome and you should come here and ride. Uh, but also, other places are awesome. You're going there too, right? You've got uh, a partner in Santa Monica, and then uh, yourself and your better half are headed to Mallorca, strictly for business purposes. Business purposes. For the purposes of simple cycling maps. Yes, there. but it's it's intended to capture these beautiful areas that are so incredible from a cycling standpoint, and and to be able to appreciate what they are and to be able to connect the dots, if you will, and share the knowledge, share the information with people. There's no greater gift or greater purpose in this project than to share knowledge with people and hopefully we inspire people to get on a bike and go on an adventure. That's the goal. You've sold me and again, <laughs> thank you for creating this and like adding more, more beauty to what was a, already a wonderful activity and sport. Thanks, Ben.